this is just a quick one. I wanted to include this, but just a shout out to Aaron Francis. I know if you don't know me, Andrew Bradshaw is my favorite player. So I mean, this suspension for high contact against Andrew Gaff. Well done to you. I applaud you. At the halfway mark during the season, we are 17th. Only the Western Bulldogs are below us. I mean, we've won four out of our 12 games, so I'm just looking for our team to improve. Devin Smith has been our leading disposal getter, while Fantasia comes in second, and Heppel and McDonald and Tippenwoody closely follow behind him in third and fourth. McKernan is our leading goalkeeper with 23 goals. Fantasia is also on 23 goals, while Joe Danaher has had 20 goals, Devin Smith 18, and McDonald Tippenwoody 18. We have now played 14 games, and we are officially the bottom of the ladder after losing our last two matches. So this is just really disappointing for me. Hopefully, hopefully we improve. I ended up losing every single game since then, which is pretty sad. But on a bright note, my favorite team, Freeman Dockers, finished first in the ladder, but they lost to the pa Power in preliminary finals, and the Power went on to beat the GWS Giants in the grand finals to take home the 2020 Premiership. Somehow, Matthew Cruiser ended up taking the Brownlow medal, and even more surprisingly, Ben Keyes, Ben Keyes won the Coleman medal. Our best and fairest was Anthony McDonald Tupinwadi, which wasn't a surprise, while Will Hamill was from Adelaide was the rising star. We were fired by Essendon, unfortunately, for a terrible season. I mean, we deserved it, definitely did. But on the bright side, we were offered contracts by West Perth, the Sydney Swans Neeful team, that's their Neeful team, not their AFL team, and the Werribee Tigers from the VFL. So I think I'm going to take the West Perth because I know them the most. So. This is our first game of the season, and we have smashed East Perth 142 to 44, so 98 points. Um, Bob Shield had 30 disposals and 5 goals, so good on him. And Morris Hanrahan had 29 disposals and 4 goals, so well done to them. We now signed to lose a few matches, as we can see here. We lost 149 to 27, which is 122 points smoking. Yeah, we're starting to lose quite a lot. We're slipping down the ladder. I think currently now we're at fourth. So, I mean, we used to be second, so this is kind of a little bit sad. This time, it is even worth. We played Peel Thunder for the second time. Once again, we scored 27 points, but this time they scored 175 now. That is 148 smoking. Yeah, we haven't we've won like one match in our past ten games, and we're just slipping out of the finals contention. So, I mean, we need to improve. We need to improve. We are starting to find some threatening emails from the board, and this is kind of a little bit sad because I mean I don't want to be fired for the second day straight second season straight which is so hopefully we can start to improve so i don't get fired again we've hardly won a game since so i mean we didn't make the finals i mean the thunder of course on pill thunder one so yeah i'm just interesting to see if i get my contract renewed next season the mvp of the 2021 Waffle season was Noah Puck from Peel Thunder. He was also the top goal kicker, but our best and first went to Jared Kershaw. I mean, we only ended up winning four games, similar to Essendon, how Essendon did under my thing, and we came dead last at 10th. Finally enough, West Perth wants me back again. However, I have received offers from South Adelaide, Sydney University, Peel Thunder, the North Adelaide and Brisbane Lions Sneafle team. I'm not sure. I'm definitely not going to go West Perth again. I really want to get back in the AFL, so I'm going to choose the Peel Thunder because, I mean, they're such a great team. And if you want to improve your win rate, pick a winning team. This is the second 
game of my pure thunder coaching career in which i absolutely smoked claremont 168 to 27 in our first game we beat the west coast eagles waffle team by a point so currently we're two wins and no losses so this is a great start to the season the winning continues and we've beaten west Perth comfortably uh, west Perth, our old team 128 to 73 so I'm aiming for the finals this season. I'm very happy at the moment. We are starting to slip. We've lost a couple of games in a row, and the West Coast Eagles have absolutely demolished us. Demolished. This is my biggest loss of the career. Actually, my second biggest loss of my career so far. 196 to 53. I mean, we just need to improve if we want to win this premiership. We have managed to reach the Waffle Finals in third place, and we're going to play the Demons to see if we can advance to the semi-finals we have lost against west no perth we've lost against the perth demons 128 to 94 but luckily we do have a second chance against a winner of 4 3 fifth so if all goes well we will win this next game and we will verse the loser of perth and the eagles in a preliminary final to advance to the grand final. We have narrowly beaten South Rim and the Bulldogs by two points to advance to the loser of to advance to the preliminary finals in which we will verse the loser of West Coast Seals and the Perth Demons to see if we can get into the grand final. Unluckily we have lost by one point. This is very, very very sad for me. I will really want to win that premiership, but unfortunately it's not to be. So it'll be interesting to see whether or not I get offered a contract from an AFL team next year. The West Coast Eagles have ended up winning the Waffle Grand Final, so yeah. Troy, Mars Troy Marshall from the Demons have won MVP, while Robin Cluverino has won the top goal kicker, while Noah Puck for us has won our best and fairest. The Sydney Swans have offered me a contract to coach the AFL team, so I will be returning to the AFL this season, 2023 season I'm pretty sure, so it is very exciting. North Melbourne and Richmond also both offered me a contract, but I used a random number generator once again to decide which team I go to, and it was one, which means I'm going to the Sydney Swans. Um, check out my check out another video to see how well I do in this Sydney at Sydney. See if I can win a Premiership. So guys, please like and subscribe. As mentioned before, it will really really help me and inspire me to keep doing more of these videos so please like and subscribe see you later remember